So there is no question that the arts have suffered under this pandemic, and we know that some of the uh, city leaders have been trying to get some funding. We also know that an effort to get a tax to fund the arts failed on the ballot, so they're trying to get a little creative here with a public private sponsorship and partnership. Here's Michelle Bowden. While some artists in Charlotte managed to stay busy painting murals like this one across the city during the pandemic, the arts in general lost $50 million. Now a new way of looking at funding the arts could be a game changer. Thank God people are coming out. Our opening night was sold out. Rory Sheriff is the founder of BNS Productions, a theater residency group at the Blumenthal that focuses on the African American experience. It's been really, really tough. You know, Broadway likes to say we were on pause, but BNS Production was at a complete halt. We couldn't do anything. There was no money coming in for more than a year and a half. It's really, really difficult navigating around this entire new norm. So Sheriff was grateful when they were awarded a $10,000 grant, one of 39 infusion fund grants. They were a partnership between the city of Charlotte, who pledged $18 million and another $23 million donated by the private sector. We're doing this on a very um, methodical approach. In fact, the city wants to continue funding the arts this way, but knows they've got to be transparent every step of the way after voters shot down the arts tax in November 2019. I think it is, and it's it's going to take a little bit of time, so people have to be patient. But I think one of the things with the sales tax that, is that people believed in the arts. They believed in the purpose. They didn't understand how it was going to get done. The new plan is to create a citizen-led grant-making board with a mix of City of Charlotte leaders and private sector employees. I think it's going to really open the doors for a whole new level of support for the arts and allow them to thrive at every level. It's promising. It helps a lot. It's great hearing that from the mayor pro tem. The arts bring people out. It's about community. It's about people getting to know each other. So there's a lot of tangible and intangible benefits of the arts. And we really want to change the way we think about the arts, not just as, again, entertainment, but a very important part of economic development. So just how important are the arts in a tangible sense to the city of Charlotte? They typically generate $360 million a year and employ thousands of people. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte. And if you'd like to check it out right now, we have a list of all 38 initial recipients of the Infusion Fund grant. That is on our website, as you can see there. And you can see how much the programs got, which groups contributed to the grants. So once again, WCNC.com, just click on the Where's the Money tab and look for Michelle's story.